Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Now I am I am still in the 1.5 app update and I probably will be doing these updates for a while. But um, if you've been watching my videos, you'd know that I've been playing around with these features of, of 1.5 for the last few months. But I've never actually went into the individual items that make up all of the inventions and things that I have uh, have done. So today uh, I am going to show you how the hopper works. Yesterday I showed you how the comparator works. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm working down a list of what to show you guys. So this is what a hopper looks like. Okay, and this is the re re recipe. Two iron on the side, on each side, one at the bottom, and a chest. And as the chest suggests, you can actually pop things in there. Okay, and exactly like a chest, um, it will, you know, you can, you can put anything in there, stackable items, uh, like, you know, like rest on torches, uh, single items like the, the splash potions, and so forth. Okay, so um, that's the recipe, and this is what it looks like. Now, what does it do? It does magic. <laughs> it does something that we've been wanting for so long. It actually, um, for want of a better word, it actually sucks in items. Okay, so if I, for example, put an item on there, I'll just put a, a hopper down here. As you can see, if I click on it, uh, right click on it, you'll see that it, that it is empty. But when I actually go and throw items at it, okay, the items disappeared. If I look in it, it actually gathered it up. So now you can actually build all kinds of uh, automatic farming system systems. Um, you can do incredible uh, mob traps and so forth. It's it's just great. Now on its own, fine, probably doesn't do much except suck it in. But what it really does is actually put it into a chest. When you hook it up to a chest like this, you'll see this chest is empty, the hopper is empty. But if I now go and I, you know, go and chuck my um, torches into the hopper you would see it disappeared but I went and put it into the chest now you'll see it's ticking down because what it does it actually places an item into the chest with each tick so what I can do is if I now go and I just go and clear my inventory for example just chuck all the stuff in there um, you'll see now those items hopped off okay because the hopper is full at the moment no not full anymore so for example if I chuck it in now Okay, so it ha does have limited space for the limited amount of items. But the hopper is empty, but it is now in my chest. How absolutely awesome is that? Okay. Um, the next thing, if I, you'll see I've got, an, now I've got a chest on top of a hopper. So here I have a hopper on top of a chest. Here how I have a chest on top of the hopper. Chest is empty. Hopper is empty. Now, if I place an item in the chest, you'll see that they slowly but surely actually disappear. Okay, so you can actually see that in the hopper it's actually piling up. Okay, now you might ask what is the use of that? Well, you can now actually build very um, intricate piping systems. So let's say, for example, I want an item, let me just turn this off, to go, items to go from this chest to this chest here, I can just build a very quick piping system using using the uh, the actual hoppers so let me just quickly uh, show you how this will work um, so how many so we need to go one more up so you'll see that I'm placing the hoppers on top of each other now the way that I actually place the hopper onto another hopper is by holding down shift okay so uh, that'll just ensure that uh, we get the hopper we'll get we, we don't actually enter the we don't actually go into the hopper but we actually add something to the hopper all right that doesn't actually make any sense. Hold shift click. Okay. Right, so you'll see me just go around the side, and here we go. And you'll see that I am now almost connecting it up to this chest over here. Okay, so you'll also notice that uh, the hopper has like a pipe. Now, the direction of the pipe determines the direction that the items will be pushed, will be pushed. So as you can see, this pipe goes to the right. So the items will be going all the way to the right, 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 down. So this is pointing down, down, down. And this is pointing to, to the right again, into the chest. Okay, so empty. Empty. Okay, so if I now pop an item, let's just put the sticky piston in here. It'll disappear out of that chest and magically, ta-da, appear in this chest. Okay, now this is infinite. I mean, you can, you can, you can 
make this piping system as long as long as you want but just remember that your uh, chunks will need to be loaded so if you have any unloaded chunks it will kind of get stuck somewhere in the piping system so just make always make sure your pipe your your um your chunks are loaded that the piping system is running through okay so you'll notice i've got a torch over here now what the hopper does is when it is as an active uh, redstone signal it actually stops working okay so if i put on this torch you'll see if i now put this item in here nothing will happen okay so if i just uh, let me just put this torches in there okay so nothing happens okay the moment I turn off the redstone signal you will see that the items starts being pulled out of the chest along and into this chest over here okay and if I turn it off or turn it on actually you'll see it stops okay so the redstone signal turns can turn it on and off Okay, so that is really very, very cool feature. Right, so looking at this, if you really want to get all kind of fancy, you know, you can kind of pop another hop on here, and you can kind of like make a little, you know, a little platform um, out of these hoppers that just kind of surround surround that, that hopper that puts everything into a chest. So let me just uh, get this around. It's kind of tricky getting this shifting to actually work the way we want it to. Um, so now just imagine the kind of the mob traps and, you know, just normal traps you can actually build. So uh, let me just do a little bit of a little, little, little trap demonstration of how to do something pretty cool with it. So let's just get these, uh, get a little wall built around here, like so. Okay. Um, okay, oopsie, let's do this like so, 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 so. So now imagine this wall, um, you know, this is a kind of a deep pit that you've maybe dug uh, in your base. Um, so let me just get a few, get some height here, just to give you an idea. So now imagine, you know, this is some kind of pit. Uh, you're in your base. This is ground level. I'm gonna change my game mode. Mode. Oh, geez. Like, okay, game. Whoa, what the heck am I doing? Um, game mode. Oh, something. Okay, something's gone a bit wonky here. So let's just change this to, you know, just normal survival. So if I were to walk off here, I would die. So imagine now you had a, you know, you built your base. Uh, you've got this trap. Somebody comes, tries to raid your base, floor opens up, okay, they walk down into the floor, bang, they're dead, okay. All of their items get sucked into these hoppers, oh, let me just get back my game mode. All of these items get sucked into the hopper, goes down the piping system that you built and, you know, quite far away, all of their items that they've dropped now magically appear in a chest. I mean, this is just one of the applications. There are many. Go check out. Uh, you'll see it. Ah, this is this is turned on. So you'll see there are all the items that I dropped. So if I now just flick the switch, all of these items will start pouring in here. Okay. So not only does this work for uh, putting items into chest, but it works with anything that has um, can store things. For example, if I look at uh, a furnace over here, if I dump in some coal. Okay, and I now go and I am just going to use this and dump my stack of uh, iron. Right, you'll see it'll go in into the chest. So what? Why? The reason is flashing. It's going to the chest and then being pulled out by the hoppers straight away, going all the way around, all the way around, and then getting pushed into the furnace. There you can see. Look at that. How awesome is that? Now, I mean, you can even get more more funky. And uh, let me just clear some of the stuff. And uh, if we now add a hopper at the bottom, okay, so let me just grab a hopper. If you now grab a hopper at the bottom, it should now, in theory, start pulling out the iron ingots. So you can really build some absolutely incredible, incredible contraption. So if I now just put a chest in here, um, let me just get a chest. 
and drop it, drop it to chest in here. Okay, so now you'll see my iron gets ends up in the chest. So what's happening is um, it's it's I drop it all the way over there, it gets pulled via the piping system, gets pulled into the furnace, okay, and then just drops into the chest. Now uh, there is a way, and I think uh, it is by putting a hopper on the side that you can actually drop in um, some coal. So let me just quickly have a look. Uh, right, so if I just put some coal in here, let me see uh, where is my coal. Okay, so if I just grab some coal, pop the coal in here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> How fantastic is that? I mean, you've got the, 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 the iron going in at the top, the coal going in on the side, um, getting heated up, and then the moment it appears, it goes into the chest. Completely and utterly autom automated smelting. I mean, <laughs> what more do you want? Okay, so let's just get rid of these two. Um, and if you actually now hook up a... Um, let me just do something here. Now, if we actually hook up a dispenser... Okay, so this is a dispenser. And I'm just going to hook up a very, very basic clock for this dispenser. Um, so let me just grab some redstone. I need a, yeah, a torch. And I need a... There we go. So, right, so this is my favorite clock. So it's going to bang one on there, bang one on there. Um, bang one on there. Just give it two ticks. Up, up, and down. Okay, so now if I do uh, arrows, so if I just do a stack of arrows. So now imagine you have a mob tra trap. And... Um, You've got skellies, and uh, yeah, they fall into there. They die. They drop their uh, the arrows. The arrows get pushed, pulled in, dumped into here, and then there we go. Now we have a fully automa automated firing system. Now, I do use something very very similar to uh, to this in one of the maps that I've did. So just go check through my videos. I mean, I've got a lot of a lot of cool stuff that I did with these. Okay, right. So yeah, I mean. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, if you really like this, please give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. Share it. Um, subscribe. Yeah, I, much, 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 much more coming. Um, and I'm gearing up for my thousand, thousand, thousandth subscriber special, which is, yeah, I'm going to be doing something interesting. I Well, I hope it's interesting. Cool. Guys, thank you very much for uh, watching. And as always, I'll check you all later.